Big wave Roy Johnson, eating and cheating, and myself and Jess are taking a much needed holiday to Fuerteventura. Now, I know what you're thinking. Roy, you're always on holiday. You've been to IV for like four times this year. Why do you need a holiday? Well, I'd say one of those holidays, one of those trips to IV for was an actual holiday. The rest of the time, I've been on prep. So I've not actually been able to enjoy myself to the fullest. And I really, after my last, well, my last three competitions, I needed a break away, I needed some sun. I need just a chance to just relax, chill, eat what I want and just enjoy life for a little bit. So we did. Um, we booked a nice little hotel in Futurintura on a half board basis. And when we got there, we decided to take the upgrade and go all inclusive. So I had a nice all inclusive break. And here is essentially what we did for five days. Actually, before I get into that, I need to go into my holiday stack. So first off, a thermogenic powder, which I had in the morning. Then I have my various health supplements. I'm not going to list them all, but they're all there. Digestive enzymes, in case I eat too much in the evening, um, which happened a couple of times. BCAAs for pre- and post-workout. Not my, my preferred, but they're there. Berberine for post-workout, carbs, and if I overindulge in carbs for dinner. Um, yeah, digestive enzymes we've just seen there. I was probably talking at this point, but I think Jess was probably saying something in the background quite silly. Oh, the BCAAs again. Um... Thermogenic powders, as mentioned, pre-workout powder right there from all black everything. Um, various different BCAA drinks to have during my workouts. Yeah, these are all samples I've had for free, lying about the flat. Um, ignore my after Uh Whey protein. And then uh, in the fridge, cereal bars and some protein bars. Uh, the cereal bars that have post-workout or sometimes pre-workout. And in coming back from holiday, I had a great time, a very nice relaxing, barely left the complex, ate a lot, still trained as you saw, 
and we saw a little bit of Adventura, but for, for the main part, we stayed in the hotel and just enjoyed the all inclusiveness, which was actually a very good idea to do the upgrade. That aside, I struggled from time to time, I have to admit, in terms of finding the balance between having a holiday and from being a bodybuilder and not ruining my rebound stage that I'm in currently uh, post competition. And I was able to eat pretty clean, pretty healthily. Um, the food, luckily, at the restaurant had a plethora of options. And really, there was a lot of, of, of clean options for me to, to, to partake in. But when it came to the evening, that desert cart was calling me. And I always then reverted into, meh, you're in holiday mode. And I indulged. But then I felt bad about it. And I came home, weighed myself, did my check-in. And really, there wasn't actually too much damage done. You can't do too much damage within five days by having a few desserts here and there. And the water weight that I put on post holiday is all gone. So uh, for anyone who's watching this who has a holiday booked or planned and you worry about damage you do on holiday, obviously don't be a complete dickhead. But also, it's temporary. The increase in the scales is food volume and water weight, mainly. You can't do too much damage in, in the space of, you know, five days. So don't sweat, just enjoy yourself. And that would be the last bit of sun for me for a while. So back to beautiful, cold England. Back to prep, back to life, uh, but I come back nice and refreshed. So I always advise for people to take holidays when and where they can, because holidays are life. Like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm. If you want to support me, you can get one of these lovely bits of merchandise from my big cartel. So I've still got something in stock, so get on that. Until next time, keep eating, keep cheating.